Students, good morning. Today we will see the design of common base configuration using empty space. In the end, I will give some input about common character configuration also. So before proceeding the designs, let me share some input about common base configuration. The design of common base configuration it is used for higher frequency application. The main uh, two reason I can say here the input impedance is that I will be very low and output impedance will be higher and also when you see in the aspect of parameter voltage and current the voltage gain will be enormous so that is the reason why the common base is used for voltage amplifier the current gain is very low compared to other two configuration common limiter and common collector configuration Generally, the power margin also is going to be less because current is going to be less in the base configuration. Another thing I want to insist here is the phase between the input and output in the amplifier. When you design the amplifier using a common base, AC analysis, the phase shift is zero. So that you want to understand. But in common emitter, you have a phase shift. In common collector also, you don't have a phase shift. Now we will go for the Empty space software. So open new schematic. Now go here and uh, open new component. So let me type MP and transistor. See when you rotate, see your emitter have to come left side because in common base configuration, emitter is the input, base is a common, collector is output. But when you rotate, it will not come. So you want to take a mirror in time. Okay, go to the mirror and turn that is a uh, you can see here the from the last third option now let me connect some wires then I will mark the terminal with the label it okay. okay now let me mark the label it so it is easy to understand and track it okay so you can see the square box is appearing when you keep correctly the square box will disappear so it should uh, should disappear otherwise the label not taken by the circuit see the will create wrong see this is wrong it is not uh, taken by the socket it will not consider okay so what i will do and create a c again okay now it is okay now it is easy to understand the meter base character that is the reason and use of the name it now let me keep the resistors okay so resistor one on the left one on the right okay uh, then voltage source one on the First you keep a right, there is a reason for keeping right. Next one here, N, P, N. Please remember, junction 1 should be forward bias. N is majority of electron mean minus. So it should connect it with the minus. So you take a voltage source, just rotate it. Okay, otherwise it will become the forward bias. Okay, minus is connected with the minus. So now it is perfect. That is the reason <coughs> I have connected circuit. So now minus is connecting with your emitter. So that means forward bias. Okay. Many students will do mistake here. So they will be doing forward bias and you will not get any response. Let me complete the circuit. Okay, now circuit is not completed. You want to complete with the close completely with the earth. Right, that's it. Now, see, in the common base, emitter is the input, base is the common, collector is the output terminal. Okay, now I am just uh, customized for me RE. This is RC, serious distance. 
okay so this i'll just give one kilo ohm for some analysis okay i'll not show you here okay here this v is not required so we can remove so the biasing dc biasing we should give the name which is relevant to the term so that will for easy understanding so it's a dc so it should be in capital everything for our understanding as per now so okay cc so now it was over almost completed circuit design now first we go for the input analysis when you go for the input characteristics what you want to do is you want to change the input voltage during the time you want to keep your output voltage constant here vcb is constant right so vcb i have to keep constant i need to change vve for different changes of vbe you want to observe the ie current that's it another set of vcb where you want to change for example vcb you want to take a four set and vb you want to adjust and you want to observe ie current this is the input characteristic so we will go for input analysis now so when you are doing the input analysis i will say here go to the swing net the edit swing net command dc sweep as you are going to do the dc analysis you have a two source you can see here left and right first source which name should give that is very important when you are doing the input analysis you should give the preference to the input bias battery that is ve because uh, the second uh, source should be the common which you are keeping there okay in the during the analysis here input analysis you will be keeping your output voltage as constant so you you should keep your vcc in the second source okay so the type of sweep is linear so the first source like a ve and type of sweep linear start value 0 and stop value 2 and uh, increment 0.1 and second source let me keep uh, vcc and uh, type of sweep linear and uh, phi stop value 20 and it came out of five that means you will be having 5 10 15 20 four parts okay so keep this a powerful command okay so now what we will do let me run right click and add trace here you want to plot for uh, ie right so ie see when you plot ie you will be getting a reverse in lt space because it taken a positive polarity okay so what you in lt space what you want to do in plotting you want to put a minus okay when you are doing for especially for emitter part so you can see now it was coming exactly in the reverse it is a correct and also in the x axis if you click it is showing ve so but we are not in, interested to measure ve we want to see for vbe you know the be is connected to ground right only we want to see what is the formula for vb vb minus ve so vb become zero so minus ve right so minus minus v. so this is a curve for the input characteristic you know family of curves here but if you not see here everything in the same line okay see that i will show you the selex you see the steps you can see see it is plotted for 5 10 15 see this is showing for 20 so let me show for 15 see this is for a uh, is our family of curves okay okay so all are in the same line okay the response are like this you can see here emitter response is in milliamps because emitter and collector more or less same that is a good thing in the common base configuration that is all for you know you'll be calculating by output by input icv i right moreover you have seen okay so this i have done for np1 suppose i want to use some reserve transistor go here and take some select n2 n222 model okay now you save and run it and select the trace minus i okay and here uh, it should be minus v. 
here you can see the family of course based on to the configuration and parameter see okay suppose i want to measure the input of resistance like i put impedance you select only one go here okay i'll select only one steps okay so let's step i'll take any one i would take two trays okay one you keep exactly the current maximum rising part another one So, this is keep what here and this is again okay so now see from this slope you can measure what is the input resistance okay so here we will find a complete resistance part this slope okay so this is a idea to find for input impedance for the common base configuration uh, similarly uh, like uh, suppose i want to design for some own transistor model so i'll just give some name for this let me npn1 so we'll go here and uh, like a uh, we'll draft Spice direct type your model first syntax should be your username, then the resource command is npn transistor. Okay, then see npn. One PN package should come here. Okay. Proto 150. Then suppose if you want to put a saturation current, reverse saturation current, you can put. So you know it's vary from minus 14 to 18. So this is our syntax. Dot model. User defined name. Then some comment. Then beta F. Then the reverse saturation current. If you run, you will get the response. Okay, so minus and it. Okay, it should be minus V, right? So that's it. Same. Okay, so based on the beta value, the powers are different. So every transistor has different uh, response. Where some minor changes can be observed. Okay. So now we will go for output characteristics. When you want to go for output characteristics, what you want to do is you want to keep your input voltage constant. You want to change your output voltage. For that, you want to observe what is the current is increasing. Output current is increasing. Same procedure. So let me change this command so first source you are going to change the output we are seeing the output side right so it should be vcc right then we change like a 0 to 10 then 0.1 second source should be vv okay then it be 0 then should be 2 0.5 So now you run that race. So I see, right? <clears throat> this is wrong actually. Actually, we are interested to measure VCB, which plotted for VCC actually. So VB is connected to ground. So VCB. So this is exactly that. Here, one thing I want to say 
this is your input response, this is your output response, right? So your output current and your input both are equal, that is emitter collector moreover same. So this is a very thing, alpha can find, that is a IC by I, output by input. Okay, so this is a cutoff region, this is a linear region, this is a saturation region. Okay, similarly, here you can find the output resistance, keep the cursor, find the changes in the two points, you can find. Similarly, you can do for your own transistor model, any model, as say you did for input parameter. So similarly, uh, so this is about a common base, you can do it. When you go for a common collector and ensure some input. In common collector, the thing is, very important thing is, usually in other two configuration, base and emitter is connected in the input side. But collector and base is connected here. Just complete reverse, only to do it tilt. So you know, main equation for a transistor is, that is VCE equal to, like <coughs> You know this equation, right? Vc e equal to Pbe plus Vc, right? This is the main equation here. When you see Vcb here, Vcb is nothing but a Vce minus Vbe. So you know the Vce. How you will find input characteristic? You want to keep a Vce constant, and for the different values of Vcb, there will be the different response we will be getting. That is the input characteristics, right? So we will do C. So here very important things. What is a VCB? VCB is nothing but a VC minus VB. That is your VCB, right? So we will see the C. It is a completely reverse from the other two configuration. I am just giving only input and you can try by yourself. Okay. So this is for input. Uh, so that is, uh, I will show you. So for source. That is a VBB, so linear 0 to 0 0.1. The second source you can keep anything, not uh, oh, you have 5 uh, here uh, 5.3, the increment of 0.3. Okay, anything based on that, you will be having plot. So, okay, now I will run. See, when you run, you will not get any error because you want to say which one you want to trace. Which one you want to trace? AB. Okay, that's it. Now, it should be plotted for C is connected to ground. So, my VCB is nothing but a VC minus VB. Grounded. C is grounded. So, minus VB. See, it's, it's a very important is a negative slope you can see it's a negative slope okay so this is the ib current which is decreasing this is a vcb voltage so see if you see here the vcb is 0 0.675 so you can find the response for which vb which you are getting so what is the formula so you can see you can go here and view the select step so let me take for five alone that means VC is 5. VC is 5. Right? VC is 5. VCB here is 0 0.78. So VB will be different of that. Right? So 5 minus 0 0.78 that is your VB. So based on your uh, VCB this was uh, decreasing. The negative slope. You can see it was decreasing. So you can plot for different set of values. So this is a new thing that is observed in the common base configuration okay common collector configuration compared to other two configuration okay so mm -hmm. common collector this is used for a current time repair it is act as a, in terms of voltage is a buffer so regarding the output characteristics it's same as a common emitter no change because in common emitter collector is your output here emitter is output so it's going to be the same right so you can try by yourself only thing is you want to change this values same as a common emitter so you can check so in the next video i will put detailedly about cc configuration 
Thank you. I hope it is useful. Thank you.